Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back with surviving as a trader in space. And today we're going to do some upgrading to our ship and become jump drive ready. First, let's go check out this trade station. Oh, it's one of these outposts. All right. So there's auto cannon magazines, which is pretty good. Ooh, they do have hydrogen. We needed hydrogen, so luckily we have money for that. So we need about, we have 8 million liters. To fill it up, we would need 7. So like 7, was it 7,000? And that's not going to cost us too much. So let's just do that. I think that should give us. No, that's wrong. Huh. <laughs> and that was pretty much all that was there. Oh, I didn't even see how much it was selling. All right. So then once we're editing, we'll see. We'll see how much it was there. <laughs> but it wasn't much at all. So that's that. That's not good. Um. Steel plates are 562. If I had these trade stations near an actual economy base, I should make out in terms of cost. The steel plates back at base average is 1355 or 56. That's more than half off. Huh. Same thing with steel, small steel tubes. That's about half off. 282 is my average. Small teal 2s and it's 154. So if I could buy here and sell. Well, that's not even selling. That's just actually <laughs> purchasing it there instead. But if I were to turn them into radio components. Yeah, that, that's a whole different story. Even buying radio components, selling it out back at Ikawa Base, you make out. I think the lowest we saw was 500. All right, so. All right, that didn't work out in terms of buying the hydrogen that we needed, but not too, too bad. All right, selling at 765. That would require us to be um, an iron per, per iron cost 77 credit, which that is a total ripoff. The only other thing I can think of buying is uranium and they only have 19 pieces that could help us power the ship. Do we do it and just become a mil just a single millionaire? I think that's more important right now to do. So we're going to do that. All right. Chase is still waiting for the next delivery, but we did find stuff in storage. You might find interesting or useful. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. All right, contracts, no contracts. We do still have a few to contracts to return, but we're not going back anytime soon. And I forget what's up there. Could it be? I don't think there's any beddings and stuff like that. Is there? I forget. We've been to an orbital station before. This is just a, a different one, not exactly the same. But it did have betting, and the betting usually doesn't have any cash in here. Because these aren't the regular economy bases. Oh, here's another control station, which we could sell. <laughs> sell grid as scrap. What is this large grid 4579? Is it something just hanging around in the small three? Is it part of the iron scout? I don't know. Well, actually, this one might actually be the thing that we just took. But I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> if I sell it, Benji, half my ship is like gone. That'd be hilarious. But nothing we can access here, to be honest. So that's that becomes useless. I mean, I'm not even sure why these robots need any kitchen, but they have one. <laughs> All right, so we got a little bit of hydrogen, so that works out. Not a lot, but. Decent amount. We have no ammo whatsoever, so that's also a bad thing. The 25 away matey is right over there. Don't think I need it right now. Be fine. 
Don't like that I added that bridge thing there that now I can't really <laughs> open a door to. But we need to situate ourselves a little bit here. We got uranium. And the uranium could be placed up here. To kind of charge us up a bit. It's not too bad. We don't have placement for a small reactor inside, do we? A reactor, I think we were running, we were low, we were, we were low on something. Um, don't recall what that was. All right, we, we might have to stay here to get some more hydrogen if we can. But we also need to make money relatively soon too. <laughs> We only got a smidge. We had about 55 hydrogen before we docked. And now we got 63. So we got some. Just not a lot. In terms of hydrogens. So uh more more to come when it when we talk about that. Alright, so reactor components. That's what we were, we were missing. Reactor components we have very little of. And that's going to cost us a bunch with gravel, which I think we do have to gravel for it. So do we want to put a large one down instead of a small grid? We don't have to just yet. Uh, what we should work on is actually the jump drives and also the thruster components that are lacking. And we're lacking it because of the cobalt. So we could continue to dismantle a little bit more metal grids, if anything. Okay. So jump drive we can put in here just to be to make sure it's on the safe side. Um, where exactly I want to put it, I don't know. It's a 3x3 three three grid, roughly. And I don't have the space for this, do I? I do not. I mean, I could put it flat like this, but either way, it's not enough space. We're going to have it exposed, which is bad. Mm, or maybe it wouldn't be too bad. Can I put it in here? Would it be that dumb to put it out here, out in the open on our new ship that's out here? Likely, yes, it is a dumb idea because <laughs> this thing could get destroyed really, really easily. Um, or separated from the ship itself. But where else can we put it? This is almost the best spot right this moment. And I use that loosely to say almost. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Why is there so much stuff out here? And the other option is put it back here. But again, it's all on the outside, which is not exactly where I want to put it, though. We could put it down here. We could. And hide it a little bit better even, um, later down the line. Yeah, that might be the play, I think. So we're not, we're not going to put it the long way here. I wish I could extend this out a little bit so I could see it better. But it's probably going to be something like this. Ooh, that's huge. But, yeah, I think that's where we're going to have to put it. Something somewhere like this. Where we don't cover that thruster for now. Um, and we, we will probably have to end up moving that thruster eventually anyways. But I want to make sure there's enough space for another hydrogen tank. Right over here as well. Uh, I know we have an assembler over there. So that's a problem too. All right, we're just going to put it right here. That doesn't give us much room for the assembler, but it's fine. Um, we'll take this out. And I just want to make sure if we can put it on a tank here. We should, we might not be able to. I think we're off by one block. Oh, no, we're perfect. All right, perfect. We can put it, uh, put it right here, but we do need to move that thruster right there. And 
We can move that now, actually. Let's just do that. We'll put that thruster right down here. Boom. That stays there. The hydrogen could come here. Or hydrogen tank. So put it right there. Here we go. So there, there's our hydrogen tank. And then we have our jump drive connected there. Okay, that's not terrible. It could work decently this way. Um, then we just got to kind of close it out with some random blocks of steel plate. <laughs> uh, half block, right? Yeah, half block. So we could do this half block here, this half block here. All right, so a bit of a ship evolution potential right here. <laughs> Adding all this hydrogen tanks um, and such. I forget, does this assembler have a speed mod on each side? It doesn't. Well, we still have the room for us. That's fine. And this connection here could be useful with... Um, do scaffolding or do we do the beams? I think beam blocks would work a little bit better. So basically we put a half beam block right this way. So it doesn't look like it's too exposed, right? So. And that way we still have access to inner piece to it. In that sense. There we go. So that's that. I mean should kind of connect these a little bit better too. Let's just work with the beam blocks, I guess. Maybe just do this. <laughs> but um, really, we need to connect it, I think. Mm. It would be nice to connect it. Okay, so that SBRT is right this way. <laughs> Yeah, but it really, um, it would be nice to connect if we could do it this way. Like so. I mean, the beam block, that part right there looks terrible though. But it's connected, which is kind of what we wanted to do. We could reverse this. So we could go upwards like that instead, which would look a bit better. Yeah, that would be fine. And then we got to find a way to connect it to this piece, which I guess we could just do that for now. A little awkward because that's not a full block-like thing, which it could be. I mean, we don't need all this shaping here, to be honest. Yeah, we definitely don't need that, but that's fine. But we'll just close it in together so at least we have it there for now um, just for extra support in case and we'll just do it this way all right perfect I think this is gonna work out okay it looks great like once again ship evolution for you <laughs> 
got a new ship assimilated, as you see here. So, initially, I thought it was that kidnap you, uh, I'll kidnap you ship, but it wasn't. And luckily, it was just a small little ship. Unfortunately, it didn't come with reactors, so the wreck ship at this point looks like a good idea. Maybe I tow it back to this trade station and sell it. That could be an idea. I mean, we might not have enough power and <laughs> and what's it called to do so. But that could be a possibility. That thing is probably still sitting there. So it is... Oh, wow. We traveled 133 away. All right. So next time we run into one, we might as well just come and sell it, if anything. Yeah, I think... That's what we have to do. All right. So other than that, we need to get thrusters done. We need to get, oh, we got to get the piping done too, which is a pain. All right. So we get rid of this and we just pipe into it. So I guess we could just use a, we may junction in this case. Um, all right. I need a nice port. And there's no thrusters here, so that's perfect. And I guess we can... Piping-wise, doesn't look that great with just straight-up pipes. So I think we use conveyor tubes in this case. All right, that's not exactly what I was going to go for. I needed to go this way, actually. Yep, yeah, we need to get rid of this turret right over here. So we'll somehow connect it with the conveyor tubing. I guess we could just do something like this. I don't think we could go up here, can we? If we do, we can't get back down. Yeah, I think we have to build it this way because it's not a full block over there. Like so. I think that's the best way we could do it in terms of connecting everything. So that goes to the refinery. And such. I feel like this could just be a conveyor junction, actually. Might as well. Yeah, might as well. We'll cover it up, so it wouldn't look too crazy. How will we cover up? Um, maybe something like this, if anything. Or go as far as that. Or or this. Maybe maybe this. Kinda like mm, kinda like this design here. Right? Was it that way or was it this way that I looked good? No, I think it looked I think it's this way. That should be. Looking decent that way. And we could change it up. So the first connector piece there could be like that. And then this changes to this. So it just gives a different look to it. Um, That could work. And we could put some lights here or something. And we kind of do the same here. Um, Just to give that extra sticking out piece. For the conveyor tubes. That should be okay. Alright, so we do this, this, and change it up here. Like so. Alright, so it should just look like that on the bottom. Not too bad. I mean,. It could use a little bit of work, obviously. We could put a light down here or a search light. So we can see a little bit better down there. Or even a connect up in the front. So we have another nice little connection part right over there, if anything. I think since having pipes, I've always been using pipes more than these conveyor tubes lately. So it's kind of a good change to get back to making these tubes again or using these tubes again. 
All right, so now we're piped in on both ends, so that's good. I don't have to worry too much about that. Um, I kind of want to do something with this, but I guess we just leave it like that. Yeah, that should be fine. This piece, I feel like if we were to stretch it out like this, it'll, it'll give it a little bit more um, of a look. Like that. And it kind of works. Kind of. <laughs> I, I do recognize that if you pop this right over here, it's a goner. <laughs> so that's not the greatest part of that. We should cover it up, if anything. Um, somehow. <laughs> but I think we should be okay for now. Alright, let's just do a different pattern with this. Just do this and this. And it's not much we can connect to make that work, I think. Which I probably shouldn't have used this block. Yeah, likely shouldn't have done that specifically. It ends up looking a little awkward. I don't think there's a specific block that works, but that what I just did. Unless there is. Oh, there is. <laughs> so sometimes I figure there's... I always say there's always a block for something, but then sometimes I prove myself wrong. For whatever reasons. Um, but in this case... There was a block for it, so... That kind of worked out. Alright, so this extended ship is actually turning out to be pretty decent looking. Obviously not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's it's turning out okay. <laughs> Ever so slightly with this little modifications. Although I should be really working on the superconductors. Not superconductor. The um, jump drive and everything like that. But that's going to suck the life out of the ship relatively quickly. So I kind of want to do this first before I run into that situation. <laughs> And there's a connector, a collector here, which we don't need. Definitely gonna get get rid of it. <clears throat> here we go. So that's good to go. We got a nice, decent ship going. We still have a few things missing that we need out here, but I do also need get myself some energy really quick okay so i think we put in let's see all right they reset the inventory maybe um that's fine I, oh that can wait i'm gonna put in the superconductors into the jump drive so we can only do 46 at a time Ooh, that's gonna take forever to do um, should have thought about that earlier, but there is a way to do this. Instead of slowly doing this, we do this instead. So, grab a welder, not a hand welder, <laughs> the actual welder. Place it near a port. So we're gonna do it this way, right here. So, welder here, and then we'll pipe it together. So, that is one of the quickest ways to build things up, as long as you have the match for it. Reaver is coming for us. Okay. That sucks. But also, not too bad, because we are in a, a trading, near a trade station. So we could hide in there for now, but running away from it's going to be a pain. 
<laughs> Put on the welder. And we need a ton of power cells. Um, shoot. They sent 20 of them work. Yeah, that thing's definitely coming after us. That's not great. That's going to take forever to weld up. Let's turn off this. Ooh. Actually, once we get that done, we can at least fly away. But... Yeah, we don't have our shields on or anything like that, so let's get back to the trade base while that thing comes near us. <laughs> we can't make any money. Ooh. Sorry, that scared me for a second. My heart just started to skip the beat when I heard that beeping sound. Alright, we're in here. We'll be safe. Coming in a little too hot. We're locked in. Alright, we'll be safe, but we can't make much money out of it that, that, at a station. So that's the that's the unfortunate part. And we can't weld or anything like that either. So that's that's another stinky part to it. And doing that ain't gonna do it. Jack. We still need thrusting components to be done. Yeah, still a lot more to go in terms of getting the ship up and running. Um we could easily deal with that relatively soon when it gets in close to the bubble. I mean, we could cheese it like we always do. Grind it down like that. When it peeks out. <laughs> but that thing is definitely coming for us. What's it say? It didn't say anything yet, so we'll leave it for now. We have no weapons too, so I can't shoot it while we're out there. Alright, here's the store. We could get some mags if any if we need it. Um, is this the, what we have on a hand? M20? 50. I know we have a precision rifle as well, so we can always use that too. Um, this hydrogen, not a lot, as you see here. But that's going to run us dry in funding. Shoot. Are we gaining hydrogen right now? We are. Why is that? <laughs> That's interesting. Why are we gaining hydrogen right now? Um, I mean, I'm not too alarmed by it, but that's just interesting that we're gaining hydrogen somehow. We are gaining. Okay, is it an O2H2 system? It is. It's this O2H2 system. It's, it's connected now, so it's going to run the hydrogen. That's fine. That's helpful. Um, it can convert to, convert it to oxygen, it, it's also useful, which I think it completed. Yeah, it's fully, <laughs> full oxygen. We don't even need that much oxygen, but that, that'll, that's our supply line anyway, so should be okay. That should be the same exact ship that we fought previously. Um, but we're safe in the bubble for now, so not much it can do to us. We could buy a little bit of hydrogen if we want to, but again, it's only it's only three thousand, so that's going to be the three milliliters. And we do have another tank, so if anything, we might have to stay here for quite some time, <laughs> which is not great. But I wish I could make money in the station, which I can't. Now, anything I could buy and then sell back out. Um, would be nice, but there, there doesn't seem to be anything decent I can sell back out. It's not going to make out either way, so. Bulletproof glass to buy is 477 and sells 477, evens out. But if I could just make some and sell some, that wouldn't be a terrible idea either. I mean, we do have a decent amount. Do we just sell it? Hard to say because we might need, we might need the silicon. And it's not really that much either. So, um, it's going to give us 161. So it's not selling our full supply line of it either. So, if we make the money out of it, we, we probably should. But I feel like if we get to the economy base, we'll be better. But we're holding off and waiting too long. It's the biggest problem that I have. So, I don't know. 
I don't know what to do with this problem or predicament. All right, where is this weaver? Oh, it's 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 not coming for me. It actually flew away, and, and it may be because I'm in the base, <laughs> hiding like a chicken. <laughs> um, better safe to be sorry in this case, but yeah. Um, I mean, we'll wait for it to go away if it does go away. We have too much shield emitters or field emitters that we should just dismantle. And if we ever need more field emitters, we can always reduce them. So if we just dismantle a whole bunch of them, that'd be a decent idea. Because field emitters, oof, we have a lot. A thousand right there, a thousand seventy five four of them and I don't even know how much it costs to make a shield at one point in time oh 900 okay so we can still dismantle about a hundred let's just do it that way and that's about it really okay gravity components do have a lot of cobalt and I do have some gravity components too. Not a lot, but some. I'm going to centralize everything once again. Let's see what we're working with here. So we don't have much reactive components. We don't have that much gravel to make it, I think, right? The one reactive component... 6.67. Alright, now nah, we don't have that much. We need a lot. We do have a lot of small steel tubes for no reason. <laughs> One measly canvas. Guess we get rid of we could leave 74 emitters for now. Not sure why we have some hydrogen here. Not hydrogen, uranium here. We'll just put that in the ship above. Oh, we got a hundred gravity components. Okay, not too bad. This is a problem. <laughs> And then we have all these bottles for other reasons. And not a lot of iron. I mean, 5k is not too bad. Not a lot of silicon. So. We can't we can't make money out of the trade stations. It's just. Doesn't really work that well. And ammo wise. I don't think we have any ammo. Yeah we don't have much ammo for a rifle. We need 50A rounds. Which I don't even think we have any rounds. For this rifle that we even have on hand. <laughs> Can we even produce any rounds? No, we can't. It would be this right here. Oh, this this is all Alright, so that's the story. <clears throat> Alright, we make a little bit. Which we don't have much magnesium for anyway. This is just more for NPCs. Anything else, which we only have okay, never mind. That wasn't much at all. Alright, so we only have four clips. I mean, that's not too bad. It's what 30 per clip? 50 per clip. Okay, that's not bad at all. Free and prey against NPCs that are hostile. Alright, that reaver actually left. I'm very surprised by that. So that means we can quietly back this thing up. Out of the field. Safety net. Field. Whatever you want to call it. Safety. Safety. Safety f shield. Safety shield. <laughs> and we are good here. Alright. Let me donate my uranium into the reactor here. Alright. We'll donate into this thing here. So it can still generate some power. It's not generating too much, right? It's a 50 kW kilowatts. But at least we could put a ton more of these, if anything. Because it only requires three reactor components. Um, the larger one, its cousin, takes 100. I don't think it'll make 100. <laughs> There's like no way at this point that will be made to make 100. All right, so I need thruster components. Um, still. Which I don't have much at all, so this just becomes a problem. I think the cobalt is a problem. 
All right, let's leave that alone. Um, how's this working out? I'm gonna turn it back on. Ooh, jump drive's ready to go. That is what I was looking forward to. All right, that's perfect, actually. All right, turn this off. Hopefully there's nothing in here. Dismantle this. We don't need this. Go away. <laughs> and we have jump drive. Should really seal it off if we can. A reaver thrasher. So much reavers now. That's that's just not what I was looking forward to. But sure. <laughs> gonna happen eventually so there's that and right, we need to shield this up a little bit if we can um beam blocks ain't gonna do too much but it will work for now i guess and i'm gonna do this half slow block so i can see a little bit better on the side if i need to i mean probably don't need to but just in case. so i can see the charge rate and by it charging now it's probably gonna run the life of my batteries so that's also a bad thing <laughs> um definitely not great yeah that's gonna be a lot of batteries um should be okay though i think yeah, it's, that's pretty much one battery already uh, it's gonna get tricky with this, so I might have to turn on my hydrogen engine. Oh, I need to put a door here, too. Uh, what door... ...can go here? I guess the sliding doors is fine. Um... Door. And I gotta be careful, because that, that reaver is... Right on our tail. Okay, we got a working door. Well, we're going to leave it open for the most part, but that's working. We might want to get back in the field. Oh. Yes. We don't have enough thruster components to fix up the rest of the ion thruster. That's the biggest problem we have with this. I'm going a little too hot again. I just love that sound. <laughs> a connector hitting a connector with the piston on it. Is that what makes that sound? I don't know for sure, but it does sound pretty crazy though. Um, I guess we're kind of on it. Am I too low or too high? Too high. Okay, we're we're in. All right, so air tightness. Let's see. We're good. Open this door, we're still good. But open this door, we're out of luck, out of air. Um, battery wise, deplete 10 minutes. All right, that's not bad. <laughs> I'll jump drive, charged. We have to turn it off the moment we jump. I think it's 80% done, right? That's what that's saying. It holds a lot. Um, yeah. We still need a ton of thruster components, and again, I think it's the cobalt. Yes, yeah, the cobalt. What has cobalt that we can give up? Uh, let's just give up 10 of these things. That's a lot of cobalt there. 77 of worth. 73 worth. Yeah, that's not too bad. That should give us most of the thrusters, I think. Yeah, it's only 3.33 cobalt for the thruster components, so we should be okay. Although we should really use more hydrogen, to be honest, because that's more renewable <laughs> than the energy that we have used for thrusters. But we do need to be a little bit more maneuverable anyway, so there's still that too. <clears throat> Alright, I think we're good here. We should definitely put a door right here so we can leave. Through the halfway mark, so yeah, we could do that. I mean, we can't do it right now, obviously, but I mean, one thing we could do, and it'll be a dumb idea because we might need the gravity components, but what do we need gravity components for? 
<laughs> we gotta look into that. We probably don't even need it. We have a decent amount. We sell it, we'd be 15 million rich. But selling here, probably not even worth it to sell it too. But where where else are we, are we gonna sell it? So what am I gonna make that's gonna be needing gravity components? So it just really is a graph gen, I think. Six each, yeah. I don't think there's anything else we need gravity components for. Do we just sell it just to make that money? I mean, it's probably not worth to sell it here, but they'll give us the money we need. But for what right now? <laughs> We're not desperate. We're desperate for hydrogen, but we can sell a few for hydrogen, but we usually don't even need. They don't even sell enough hydrogen for us to buy. So that's only four four mil liters or whatever we want to call it at this point. So that would fill up this tank, roughly. Let's see, four thousand here. But referring back to my list, though, gravity components usually sell at the economy base at half a billion, almost four hundred forty-five thousand. So if you buy it here for hundred sixty, that's worth it. But the problem is, who actually buys gravity components? I mean, it could be acquisitions if it if that's the case. I might as well hold off and return acquisitions instead. All right, so not much we can do about it. I mean, if we if we want more hydrogen, we have to sit here for a little bit for that, anyways. Um, and then we can sell like ten gravity components if we need to. I mean, I'm not opposed to selling about ten, so that's not terrible. We are gonna run out. We are run. We ran out of power actually, so that's not good. Let's we'll just turn on the hydrogen engine. Um, so we can charge up a little bit more. All right, we're going into positives. That's good. Okay, so we do have a jump drive now, an actual working jump drive. After we use it though, <laughs> we're not gonna have much power, so we might have to sit here for just a little bit longer just to get extra power. Um, from our uranium, for our hydrogen engines, and such. We have 48% hydrogen now because we have two tanks. <laughs> so that means one of them is fairly full. And I can confirm that's the case, yeah. So if I stockpile this one, 95% full. Not that much full. Hmm. All right, so hydrogen tanks, we don't need to, we don't need that many. We need to turn one of them off. We have three hydrogen tanks, supposedly. I only see, I have two here, but where's the other one? Where's the other one? Or oxygen tank. One of them, a small one. Um, I'm not sure where that is, but I'll, I'll look for it another time. But we don't need that many oxygen tanks. Um... Two is more than fine. Three is a little overboard. <laughs> My reaver is definitely going away now because of where I guess because of where we are. I really want to get rid of, get these rustic components done before I go, to be honest. And I don't know if we have enough. We have enough for two right now. Um, okay, that's not too bad. Alright, let's just back it up. It's not using that much power at this, at this point. We're in the minutes. <laughs> we turn the thrusters on. Alright, that's weird that when we turn the thrusters on, it's four hours. When I turn it off, this we're in the minutes. Oh. Is it because everything in terms of ion thrusting is all kind of backwards? No, not really. Oh, yes, they are. Some of them are turning on. But that might just be the backwards one. No, it, is it? Yeah, it's just the backwards one. They're off now, but 50 minutes, but when I turn it on... I find that really, really, really odd. Oh, no, they're not even turning on. Well, some of them are on. 
Let's say one one day or four. I don't know. I'm I'm so confused. <laughs> it's fine. Are we out? No, we're not out of the field. Out of field we go. Perfect. Um, the main one I want to get done is this one right here. And this one, just to see if this is more than sufficient to be airtight. And the answer to that question is yes. Nice. All right. Um, we could add more air vents too if we need to, which we could probably use in the show air vents. I should really replace that air vent with the fan version. Fan version one looks a little bit better. Ooh, can't put it up there. I guess we put it down here. Yeah, why not? And if we did that, all right, we need to depressurize you for now. Um, this doesn't look that great. So we just do another block instead, which is this one here. There you go. And the Reaver had the opportunity to... Nope, that's not the Reaver. Reaver's gone. Alright. So if we really, really wanted to start moving out towards Mars, we could. We're 1,000, well, 1,650 kilometers away. Our jump drive can get us 200... Okay, we could reach Mars or and or Europa in one go. That's not bad. Now, we're not going to have the power to get back, though, <laughs> which is the other problem. But at least we're jump drive ready so we can travel a bit better, finally, which we could have done that previous episode as well. Because we did have these superconductors, um, or at least the mats for it, which I totally forgot I was dismantling them for um, when I was looking at that new ship or the free ship. All right. So, yeah, I mean, selling stuff in the... In this base, I really don't think it's worth it. Um, I'm going to try to avoid it as much as I can. I forgot to, to see what other thruster needs thruster components. I think only one. Yeah, only one. I realize there's no forward thrusters on these things too. So that's not good. Um, we're plot one right here, I guess. So we're still missing a lot in this case. Yeah, we're missing a lot. All right, so we need one, well, one there times three. So 80 times three, so about 20, 240 left. Ooh, that's a lot still. 240 thruster component. 200, because I see 40 right here. We have enough oh looks like we do all right we're good there then we could plop those on we gotta recalibrate our our buttons a little bit so we can get that going we did remove one turret so we could do two turrets down here we need to we'll wait for that eventually um we didn't even design back here but we should and that's pretty much it let me go to the store see what we could do if we're desperate we'll sell some um, gravity components which we probably shouldn't I mean, we want a reactor. <laughs> we have reactor components here. We could buy, get a little poor, and plop in an actual reactor. But we don't even have that much uranium, which, again, we could buy uranium. Huh, questions, questions, questions. I might have to do that. But we'll find out next time. <laughs> All right, so we did a number to our ship and it's looking pretty good with the asymmetrical shaping of the other assimilated ship. So things are going pretty well. But of course, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.